Hello and welcome. This is the most asked for lockdown recipe after I published the vanilla ice cream video for which you can see the card now. Today I'm sharing a much delicious chocolate ice cream with no machine, no cream, no condensed milk, no corn flour, no chocolate or no measuring cups. If you are new to my channel, welcome and I'm glad you're watching this. I hope you like this totally easy and yummy ice cream. Make sure you hit subscribe and click the bell icon as I upload really quick and tasty videos every Tuesday and Friday. Let's start. To measure the ingredients, you will need a tablespoon and a coffee mug, whichever you use at home. Now this coffee mug is equal to 10 tablespoons just so you know the right quantity and the size. Now place a non-stick pan on low heat and add three tablespoons of fine wheat flour. And two tablespoons of good quality cocoa powder. Fry this on low heat for 2-3 to three minutes, stirring throughout until you get a pleasant chocolatey fragrance. I have now stirred it for 3 minutes. Now add half mug of full cream milk and combine very well. Ensure the flame is always low. Stir well for one minute and then add one full cup of milk. Stir well to dissolve all lumps. Feel free to use a whisk if you have one or you can keep using the spatula. Even if there are small lumps, that's fine. Cook for 2-3 to three minutes on low flame. It's time to use the tablespoon again. Add 5 tablespoons of sugar. You can also use condensed milk if you like. Instead of sugar, you can add half a tin of condensed milk. Keep stirring like this so the ice cream mixture does not get burned and always ensure low flame. Cook until the ice cream mixture thickens like this into a thick syrupy consistency and then turn off the flame. Now the ice cream is really thick. Transfer it into a bowl and allow it to cool it completely to room temperature. Now the ice cream is cooled to room temperature. This is optional but adding a teaspoon of good quality vanilla extract gives a good fragrance and pleasant taste to the ice cream. Whisk the ice cream on full power for one minute. You can use an electric beater like this or you can also use your blender jar or stand mixer. Blend on full power for one minute. Now the ice cream has become really smooth. You can see all the lumps are now gone. It's, it's a smooth, creamy mixture now. Transfer it into a freezer bowl and put it in the freezer for just three hours. Take the ice cream out of the freezer after three hours. Mm -hmm. 
Transfer the ice cream to a bowl and whisk again on full power for 2 to 3 minutes. You can also use your mixie jar or stand mixer to beat the ice cream. Beating the ice cream like this will give it the smooth, bubbly, airy texture like the ice cream you buy from shops. This is the perfect consistency now. Transfer it back into the freezing bowl. Now, let me if you are using a non-plastic container, it will be good to line it with parchment paper or cling wrap like this. But you don't need this if you are using a plastic uh, freezer bowl. Transfer it into the freezer bowl and freeze the ice cream for 6 to 8 hours or overnight. It's the next day morning and my ice cream is looking perfectly delicious and ready. If you want, you can put it at room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes. You can scoop out the ice cream or cut it to slices like I'm doing here. You can garnish the ice cream with chopped nuts or chocolate syrup or even whipped cream. But the ice cream just like this has got the perfect taste and consistency as you can see. Thank you for watching and if you like this easy recipe please hit the like button for me and if you haven't already please hit subscribe for many more quick and yummy recipes. Thank you for watching, keep well and keep smiling. See you soon with yet another easy and tasty recipe. Until then, take care, see you soon.